Hello everyone, it's Anahita Rao back again with the Planet series and today we will be talking about Mars. So uh, the planet Mars, the fiery planet Mars, um, is also called uh, Mangala in Sanskrit which basically means the auspicious one. Um, it's represented by the arrow um, and in the Upanishads, uh, the arrow uh, expresses uh, the direction of contemplation towards the supreme goal, uh, showing the Martian urge to uh, achieve uh, difficult uh, goals and objects. Um, in mythology, um, Mars is known as uh, Karthikya or, or Murugao uh, in the south. Uh, and is said to be the son of Shiva, the other one being Ganesha. Um, uh, this myth uh, varies uh, by region, north and south in India. Uh, for instance, in the northern and western uh, traditions, um, Karthikya is the perpetual celibate uh, bachelor who never marries. Uh, but in the Tamil legends, he has two consorts, uh, much like his brother uh, Ganesha. Now, people with a strong Mars in their chart are good at uh, abiding with uh, moral and ethical uh, conduct, uh, though this often leads them to greater, greater spirituality rather than physical and worldly happiness, uh, making Mars a, a deeply spiritual planet, in fact, um, uh, which has uh, the potential to destroy all the res restrictions uh, to divine uh, fulfillment uh, in your life. Um, Mars signifies courage, it signifies initiative, drive, ambition, uh, independence, uh, energy, confidence, uh, willpower, logical ability, uh, passion and desire. Um, Mars is also the significator of birth and death because it's represented by um, the eighth house, it rules Scorpio as we all know. Um, which, which is also all about uh, regeneration and destruction and rebirth. Um, uh, Mars, um, Mars's day is, is Tuesday, uh, and this is why it's often associated with Hanuman, uh, who embodies courage and devotion in uh, the Vedic scriptures. Um, a badly placed Mars uh, or, or one that is in bad dignity can have uh, more materialistic urges than spiritual ones. Um, but it's good to be uh, perhaps not so well placed for Mars in, in the era that we live in, 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 in Kali Yuga, because um, having uh, the material initiative rather than spiritual one is, is, is perhaps necessary in, in this era. Um, Mars is very well in the 10th house. Um, where you need the element of, of, of Agni, Agni Tattva, which is fire, basically, uh, to do well in your career. You need that drive that comes from fire, the initiative and the courage um, to acquire um, worldly status and power um, and, and, and position um, through, through actions. It's, it's an action-orientated uh, planet. Um, Mars is the Karaka for real estate. Uh, for siblings, for business, um, as we talked about courage, anger, desire, uh, celibacy, weapons, uh, younger brothers, strength, scandals, uh, controversies, um, uh, injuries, accidents, so especially if, especially if you've got an afflicted Mars, you have to be sort of cautious of that part of it. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's a bit about Mars, um, and I hope that you found that helpful and useful. Um, please subscribe below, and uh, do feel free to check out my website as well, anahitarao.com. Thanks all. Bye-bye.